So hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a really quick video about how I've been caring for my feed and braids. As you've seen in my previous video, I did my feed and braids myself. So I've been rocking my feed and braids, been loving them. They have red tips as you can see. But I've been rocking my braids and I absolutely love them. I've gotten so many compliments on them. Um, and so it's been a week and a half and I've been trying to keep my braids as frizz free or not frizz free but just trying to minimize the frizz as much as possible just because I know I have natural hair and I remember the days you know in my earlier when I had natural hair before that braids don't last me very long so but I've been doing some tricks that I feel like that, that has been working to kind of keep it you know looking fresh and you know keeping it tight you know Keeping it tight, keeping it tight. <laughs> Anyways, so I wanted to show you really quickly what I've been doing to maintain my feet and braids. So a couple things you'll need, but there's a couple things that are totally optional, but this is just what I've been doing. You can feel free to modify it to your preference or to your the products that you like to use, but I'm gonna show you what the products that I've been using. So I have in this bottle, I don't know if you can see it, but in this applicator bottle, I have a an oil mixture that I make that I've been applying to my scalp. So this oil mixture has an infused oil, actually from a brand called All Things Hair. They had an infused oil that had like infused with like roses and some other great and awesome things. And so I like the oil and I wanted to continue to use it. So about an ounce and a half of oil, just to give you an idea. You don't need to put that much in there because I'm not gonna use all that much oil but I just keep it in here. Um, Cause once I make, like, my, make my concoction, I just leave it in here and I just store it away. So I have um, that infused oil, but you can feel free to use your favorite oils. I also have some peppermint essential oil. I love peppermint oil. I love the sensation it puts on my scalp. It just feels really nice and cooling. So I have five or six drops of peppermint essential oil in here. I have some MSM powder. So my sister gave me this container of like MSM powder. And I can't tell you what MSM stands for right now. However, <laughs> what I can tell you about MSM powder, it's great because it helps to promote health growth. And so what I do, make sure it's mixed, so shake it back and forth. The MSM powder can get a little chunky sometimes, or can a little get, it can sit and create little chunks. So I just wanna shake it up just to make sure, you know, I got it all mixed in. And then I literally just apply it on the scalp rub my finger to kind of make sure the oil doesn't run down on my face. All right. I don't put very much. I'll show you a close up on the other side. So from here, apply, apply. Be careful with the applicator bottle because as you're rubbing it down your hair, the braids, it can sag on your hair. So. Right. And because I have a second layer of braids, I'm gonna lift this layer up and do the same process. Ooh, this part itches. Oh, itches really bad. And I don't do this very often. I probably do this, okay, maybe often enough, but I don't do it every day is what I'm trying to say. I probably have done this, it's been almost going on, it's been a week and a half. I think I've done this, maybe th this is my third time doing this. Ah, make sure that's nice. Oh, that feels so nice. Nice and rubbed in. Uh, so the next thing I'm gonna grab is my spray bottle. So in my spray bottle, I have part aloe vera juice, part water, and some oil, which is jojoba oil. I put jojoba oil in there. I love this stuff and this has been keeping my hair moisturized even when I've been wearing my twist outs and stuff I've been spraying aloe vera juice on my hair because it's fantastic so all I'm gonna do really simple spray my braids and I only do it I only spray my braids up until when my hair stops and my hair stops about here so. and you don't have to saturate your hair like the goal is not to completely like make your hair like wet, like soaking wet, but it's just to dampen the hair. Rub that all over my hair. 
So these are two things that you can do that are totally optional. You don't have to do it. But if you want, if you're seeking that extra moisture, I just take a moisturizer. This is beautiful strands. I actually won this at a hair show a couple of years ago. And so um, I like this moisturizer, not for everyday use, but because it's really, really heavy. And I like to use it when I have protective styles because it kind of helps to like keep that moisture in, in my hair. So I'm gonna apply just like Right there. That's how much I'm, oh, I'm using, right? So, rub it between my fingers and apply it on the braids. But I'm, again, concentrating on the area that my hair is actually located in my within my braids. So I don't go past this point. After this, I don't put anything on it. This is just to kind of lock in what we put in with the aloe vera. This is another optional thing too. If you really, really want to, you could put on mousse. Like if you have some really bad flyaways that you want to tame, you could just take, shake this up, squeeze a little bit into your hand, and literally I would just apply it to the top layer because the top layer is the only thing that's visible. But like I said, this is totally optional. Um, I wouldn't do this all the time. Put some of that on top, and it's simply just to kind of tame down frizz. That's the reason why I'm putting on it on top because it's just to help tame down those little frizzies. So I don't know if you can tell, but my hair is starting to frizz up. Not terribly, but. And when I sleep at night, um, here's my scarf. I have a silk scarf. I put the silky side on top and I'll add it to my hair. All right. And I do not, because I don't like the braids are Come, become like way down here. I don't tie the scarf underneath because I don't want it to pull that hair underneath. If that makes sense. Like I have hair like at the end of the braiding here, and I don't want it to pull, so I just wrap it on top, which also makes it a bit more difficult because um, since it doesn't really have much to hold on to, it kind of slips. It will eventually slip up that way. So once I have my black scarf on top. Um, I don't like to like my I don't like my hair to be laying out like this just because I tend to roll over it and pull on it and it's just too much. So what I do to sleep at night, gather my hair, kind of put it in a loose bun kind of thing, grab my bonnet, put it over the bottom, and then on top like this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you were able to take something away from this video and implement it yourself in your own hair care routine and in order to help stretch your protective styles and keep them looking looking a little fresh a little longer. But if you have any questions about anything that I showed you in this video, you know you can always leave those, com those questions in the comment section below and you know I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But as always, and if before I go, before I go, if you are not subscribed, Hit that subscribe button now. Make sure you hit the bell. Turn on the notifications. Turn on the notifications so you know when I'm posting. And if you're not following me up here, I have placed my social media handles. You can follow me on Instagram or follow me on Facebook if that's better for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.